people are going to look back at us and say, what were you doing? I mean, we are still have many, many coal-fired power plants in America. Get rid of them. We don't need coal. It's a thing of the past. Yet we have a president who's every place he goes, he trumps how, uh, he, I guess that's a play on words, uh, but he talks about the importance of coal. The importance of coal is just ruining our environment. We have to get away from fossil fuels. We've, and young people are driving this. Alexandra, I'm so proud of you and those young people who feel this more than anyone else, because you're going to feel the detriment that's taken place in our country. We All we need, need to do is look at the forest fires in California. Look at that. We have four, four major storms developing in the Atlantic as we speak. It's never happened before. So keep it up. Mm. It's up to you young folks to make sure that you don't let up the, take your foot off the gas. Push. Well, that, that is really exceptional advice. And the thing is, Alexandra, you guys have been doing that. I mean, the Greta Thunberg uh, school strikes for the climate. I think you were inspired by her as well. And if I'm not mistaken, you have, you have uh, filed a complaint with the United Nations against powerful countries that have not met their targets and their pledges. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, so actually, as of yesterday, um, it's the one year anniversary of a complaint that I am a part of. And so um, the complaint was filed to the Committee on the Rights of the Child by um, myself, Greta Thunberg, and 14 other children from all around the world. And what we're saying is that five countries are violating our rights as children by their inaction on the climate crisis. And so those countries are Argentina, Brazil, Germany, Turkey, and France. So the reason why it were those countries, some people say, well, why not the United States? Well, the United States did not ratify the rights of the child. And so these, this complaint is also bringing attention to what countries are committed to actually upholding these rights. And so um, the reason why I think that this illegal action is very important is because it shows um, we are holding all of these powerful countries accountable. And so legal actions, I'm seeing so much more young people are standing up and doing this because they see what's happening to our planet. And it's unfair that we are be, being given this. And so we are seeing lawsuits by children in Canada and Mexico. And now there's even a Portuguese lawsuit by six children who have taken their fight to the European Commission on Human Rights. So young people are rising up and really demanding action from all different sectors of our society and legal actions is what we're main is what we're focusing on with this.